dialogue is a very important part of uh, of any character. Mm. How much time do you spend getting the dialogue right? Oh, enormous amount of time. I mean, I am talking to my characters. As I'm writing, there's actually a conversation going on. I can see it as absolutely clearly as I can see you. I can see the scene in front of me. I can see the character talking to me. I can see his or her expressions, exactly what they're doing. Uh, and it's exactly as if they were in the room with me. And, and, and the answers that I give him or her in my mind are coming from this face that I can see in my head. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a movie. I just write what's in my head and what I can see. And, and, and I know imagine is probably the right word, but for me it is see. I don't have to imagine it. I just have to listen. I just have to look. And, and looking and listening is, is for me the character. And I just type it. That's just transferring what I see and what I hear. Do you write dialogue from personal experience? I mean, if you're in a public place, do you oh, listen to people? Absolutely. I, I'm constantly listening to people and do... And I think probably now after 20 or so books that I can almost tell you where anybody on earth was born, um, how they were brought up, what, what form of education they had, etc., just by their dialogue, just by their accents and, and by the way they talk and their syntax. Syntax is terribly important because we all shorten words, words we all drop our Gs, we, and some of us drop our Hs, and, and, and on and on it goes. It, it, it is... Dialogue is the critical aspect of writing. If you can't write dialogue, you are going to have trouble as a writer. It's as simple as that, because writing is about people, and people is about talking, and talking is about character, and character is in the speech, and the only way you're going to get it out is by their words. So you must, you actually have to be good at dialogue. And, and people who there is an old axiom for writing, I'm sure you know it, but the, the answer is, don't tell me, show me. And, and, and so you show who people are by the way they talk, by the way they gesticulate, by the way they sit, by the way they fumble. It's all a part of, of the conversation that's going on. What about plot? Uh, to what extent do you map out each chapter beforehand? Well, you see, I kind of think life is a plot. Um, I, I know that sounds obtuse, but, uh, but I literally say, OK, I'm going to tell this story from, about this person from the age of, OK, 10 to the age of 70. So I've got, you know, I've got nearly three generations there I have to talk about. So I'm not going to fill that with everything that happened to this human being. And so I just tell a narrative. And the narrative is, if it isn't exciting, nobody's going to read it. So I create those mishaps that happen to us all in life. Um, in, in, in the character, I mean, when you think about it, we've all had tough times and we've all had good times. And, 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 and we identify each other by, by really what, where we've been, what we've suffered, what we've enjoyed, what, we've, what we're passionate about and what we hate. And so knowing all of that will create a plot. Which brings us to the question of research and the importance of getting it right, if you like, getting, getting factual background correct. How much uh, emphasis do you place on that? Roger, I, I am an absolute, total fanatic about it. The answer is that most people don't understand their history. They don't really understand the background and the countries they come from. So if I'm going to put somebody in, in any kind of propinquity, in any kind of scene... That scene must be absolutely accurate. That country must be accurate. The dialogue must be accurate. The facts must be accurate. You put your plot, you put your story within the known facts. You do not invent facts. History is not invented. And so I, will, I have a full-time researcher who does nothing else. Hopefully eight hours a day, but answer questions and, and do the research for... For instance, this morning... I needed to know how you would go from Angola to northern Rhodesia in 1952. Now, that sounds like a hard... I've had a research on that for a week. I now know all about the Benguela Rail Railroad. I have done an entire history of the Belgium Congo, all in that period, just to be able to probably do half a page. 
So you really go to that sort of length to, to make sure it's right. And, and I, I would like to think that anybody reading a Bryce Courtney book can take the actual historical facts in it and time and place as absolute history. And, and my library is full of history books, by the way. And, uh, and I won't even accept just one historian. I'll read probably three or four about the same period so I can get a take on the whole lot. You sometimes put real people into your plots too, Always. don't you? Because you're putting your story in a real historical context. So you've got to get it right. This is not a fantasy story. It may be a piece of fiction. But people should be able to look at it and say, yes, I remember that quite clearly. I remember that scene, I remember that place, I remember the time, I remember how people felt. I've got to capture all of that because unless I do, then the story isn't taking place in, in its right environment. And environment is critical because we judge ourselves by, by several things. How other people think about us and our environment. We are creatures of our environment. So to get the environment wrong is kind of the mortal sin in writing. You just don't do it. Do you ask people's permission to name them in a book? I, I generally ask, but, but sometimes they're dead, of course, and then, then they're freebies. But, but uh, people love to be in a book. And particularly if, if they know anything about me as a writer, they know that I'm not going to write something scurrilous that isn't true. So, and, and if I want to write something where they, there was a bit of a problem with them, I'll get hold of them or their family and say, do you mind if I write it? Um, because I think there is also courtesy there. I, I, you're not allowed to invade people's privacy, but most people love it. You know, they actually love being in a book, particularly if it's accurate.